Dear learners and listeners, welcome to NIOS. Today, we are going to talk about the second part of Domains of Development. As you all know, in the last program, we discussed about the physical and motor development of the children. In this program, we will be talking about the socio-emotional development. Let's begin. Do you talk to your teacher and your friend differently? How did you learn to behave differently with different people, depending upon your relationship with that person? Do you behave similarly in all situations? Or do you behave differently in different situations? In this video, we will learn about how the socio-emotional development takes place in children. When children enter this complex world, they do not know any rules and regulations of society. They gradually learn to interact with others, relate with others and obey social rules. How we relate to others in different social situations and learn to act according to the established social rules and regulations of society comes under social development. It also includes participation and involvement in social activities and understanding the meaning of being part of a social group. A child is a social being and needs to connect with people around for a fulfilling life. They also have their own age-specific emotional needs. When we talk about the emotional development of children, we refer to the development of emotions and feeling among the little children. Some emotions such as happiness, fear and anger can be termed as basic emotions as they can be inferred directly from a person's facial expressions. Certain emotions such as shame, guilt and envy can be classified as complex emotions as they cannot be simply inferred from the facial expressions. Children are born with basic emotions and they develop complex emotions over time. Do you recall how you used to show your love or anger towards your parents when you were 5 years old? How do you express the same feelings now? Can you notice any transition in expressing the same emotions towards your parents? This brings us to the point that expression of emotions and behaviors related to them evolve over time. Some of these changes may be a result of our own emotional maturity and exposure to the surroundings. Cultural differences in the expression of emotions may also exist as each culture teaches its children to show their emotions in a different manner. Gender differences in expression of different emotions might also vary. It is very important to know that socio-emotional development takes place at different stages. Let's understand how the socio-emotional development takes place in different stages, differently. Infants interact with people around them by smiling, crying, babbling and cooing. All these initiate and sustain the infant's interaction with others. When an infant receives positive response and stimulation from others in the environment, he or she is encouraged to develop socially. By the age of 6 to 8 months, infants learn to develop a sense of belongingness and begin to develop attachment with parents and other familiar persons in their world. It is seen that infants feel stranger anxiety, that is, fear of being separated from their primary caregiver when they complete the first year of their life. The anxiety decreases gradually and children develop special attachment by the age of 2 years. Children begin to detach a little from their parents and learn to show autonomy by saying no to what they do not want to say. Early childhood The children develop self-awareness by the age of 2 to 5 years. They develop attitudes, likes and dislikes and ways of acting. Socialization is the process by which children acquire skills to become responsible adults in their society. Children are socialized primarily by the parents who make children understand and realize the difference between right and wrong and help in developing a code of conduct in them. 
A strong identification process helps in socialization as children observe and imitate their parents who become role models for their children. The social world of preschool children starts expanding and it includes their peer group, the students in the school and the children in the neighborhood. They begin to engage in cooperative play and games with them. These provide a ground to relate with others and understand social situations better. They also begin to develop a psychological identity as members of either one or other gender and insist on following gender appropriate behaviors. Gender role identities arises from a number of factors that is from biological differences between sexes and from the way parents and others socialize boys and girls. So dear learners, this was all about the socio-emotional development of the little children in which we could understand that what is socio-emotional development and how the socio-emotional development evolve with different stages in the childhood. We also talked about that what is the role of society, the primary caregivers and the people around us in developing a social identity among little boys and girls. With this, I end up for today's program. I hope you could understand well that how the social emotional development takes place among little children and what is the role of people around them in developing that social emotional development. Thank you.